We'll now look at a web application pad that uses the Dart HTML package and shows the CSS styled HTML page backed by a controller paradigm that is again a very familiar structure for anyone with JavaScript framework exposure. The CSS shows the paragraph element styled to a color. The HTML is a heading block with a paragraph block. Within the paragraph is a span and within the span is a CSS selector with an ID of counter. The actual Dart code shows us a few things. First, Dart HTML has been imported. Then, not unlike the command line version, a simple function called main is articulated. Within main, there is a variable declared named cycles. The value of the variable cycles is set to the result of a query selector function with an argument of hashtag counter. This is the tieback to the HTML page. Next, there's a for loop that cycles while the value of x is less than 5. In each cycle, the cycles.text reference, which is the aforementioned link to the CSS selector in the HTML page, is updated with the value of x, and then the string mahalo value of x is output to the console. Easy, simple, and familiar. We can see our styled HTML output with the counter value, then on the console is the expected output for the for loop. 